Hey, it's Ken Lauer, and you're watching Ken Lauer TV, the place to be to transform the areas of your life that are causing you the most problems. And today's question comes from Sandra, and she writes, I recently got out of a relationship and find it really stressful to attract the type of men that I would actually want to have a long-term relationship with. I have a good job, I'm social and outgoing, and feel like I'm fine in the looks department. However, not only am I not going on any dates with any potential suitors, the random dates I do go on seem to not work out beyond a date or two. So far, I feel like I'm failing in the relationship department because I can't seem to attract the right kind of guy. Do you have some tips that can help me get my love life back on track? I've heard different things like putting ducks in your love corner or bringing the color red into your bedroom, but so far, I've not been very successful with that. Can you help? Sandra, this is a great question and one area where I've helped a lot of smart, fabulous, and amazing women truly attract the kind of men that are perfect for them. So whether you're just out of a relationship and ready to attract true love and romance in your life, or if you haven't had a date in months or even years, and you're ready to bring passionate love into your life, or maybe you've had an endless string of dates but still have never met the one person who is perfect for you, I believe this can help. Understand this, the feng shui of your home could be blocking you from attracting the type of men that are actually perfect for you. And by making small little shifts, little changes, you can experience big results. So for this question, I wanna have you focus on the relationship area of your space, which could be blocking you from finding fulfillment in your love life. The relationship sector is located in the area of your home against the back wall on the far right corner when you're standing at the entrance and looking in. Keep in mind that you can also find the relationship corner in a room such as your bedroom by standing in the door looking in. The relationship area is located in the back right corner of your bedroom. You can even review your property by standing at the beginning of your driveway closest to the road and identify the back right area of your yard or property. And this can tell you a lot about what might be happening in your love life and with your relationships or the lack thereof. If you're looking for love, you may want to review what's in the relationship area of both your master bedroom and your entire house. You can also look at your backyard in the back right corner to see what it looks like and if that is the image you want portrayed regarding your love life. There are also certain colors that are best for your relationship corner. The colors associated with the relationship area are reds and pinks. A single person looking to attract love into their life may also want to consider painting their master bedroom peach, as this is the color known to attract romance and suitors. So let me ask you this, what's in your relationship corner? Understand that what we store there can say a lot about our true thoughts and attitudes about love and about what is blocking someone from finding a partner. For example, if you store books and magazines there, you may be pushing love away with your own solitary pursuits. If your computer is located in the relationship corner, then you may be putting work ahead of romance. It's never a good idea to keep a computer in the master bedroom. This creates too much active energy that can prevent a good night's sleep. But placing it in the love corner is even worse. Now, many people keep workout equipment in their master bedroom. Again, this should be avoided, but if you do store workout equipment in your relationship area, then you may feel and find that your relationships are a workout and even harder to attract a partner. So once you've reviewed what you have in your relationship area, there are several ways to activate it. One of the best ways is by infusing the space with living chi or energy in the form of living plants or fresh flowers. For those that want to add some additional passion to your relationship, Consider red and pink roses for a truly romantic feeling, or consider adding objects made from earth or stones. However, this does not mean adding pebbles as there needs to be some size associated with the object. This also could include a clay or ceramic pot, or you could place an earthenware statue or stone sculpture in the area. The other option is to consider adding objects related to fire, such as an aromatherapy lamp or burner, a salt rock lamp, or candles. Just be careful of the fire hazards. So Sandra, that was my answer to your question. I hope you've enjoyed it. Now, I'd love to hear from you on this topic. Take a moment and look at your relationship area of your property, your overall home, and your bedroom. What's in the back right corner for each of these areas? Does it reflect what you want to attract or does it say the exact opposite of what you're looking for? Let me know what actions you take 
and share your comments below. As always, the best action happens after the episode at KenLauer.com. So go there and leave a comment now. Did you like this video? Then subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you want even more great resources and tips to transform the areas of your life that are causing you the most problems so you can live your best life, come on over to KenLauer.com. Sign up for the updates. Keep focused on your goals and take action so that you can share your greatness and your beauty with the world. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Ken Lauer TV.